Krista Jones here from Davy and Krista and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a snap widget feed that pulls in your Instagram images to your website. So we're going to either log in or sign up. I already have an account so I'm going to log in and I'm going to log in with my Facebook account. And you'll see I have a whole bunch here but I'm going to create a new widget. So we'll go to create new widget and I am looking for the free Instagram grid widget. I see a lot of people mistakenly clicking on this Instagram scrolling widget, which I don't personally, I don't love the way that it like scrolls and moves on your site. I think it's kind of distracting. Um, so just double check to make sure that you're clicking on the Instagram grid widget. So I'm going to click on that one and I am going to need to connect my Instagram account. So I'm just going to sign in with Instagram and it pulled in Davy and Krista. Um, and it pulled in Davy and Krista. And I, it doesn't really matter what size you make the thumbnails because we're going to make it responsive so it sizes up and down. You'll want to change this layout depending on how many images you want to display on your site. Um, so if, for example, I was doing the White Haven template, I would have six horizontal images. Um, so this would be six, oops, six by one. And it'll sometimes it takes a minute to update. I will, I don't want a border. Oops, I don't want a background color. I want padding. I don't want to hover. I personally don't like sharing buttons. And this is really important. You need to make it responsive. I see a lot of people who it just is like a crazy size, especially on mobile. And that's generally because they didn't make it responsive. So once you selected all of those images, you just need to click get widget. And then if you copy this code, you can either come into your show it site or your WordPress site. If you're on show it and you're using one of our templates, You'll probably need to delete the placeholder images. So I would just select them all and remove them. And then you'll click embed code and just size this box the size that you want it to be. I'm going to make it like that. I'm going to center it to the canvas. And then if I come up to embed info and click on this custom code area, I can paste in my code and it should pull in the images. Um, you might need to adjust it a little bit to make sure that it looks good within your design. Um, and definitely double check the way it looks on mobile because right now it would cover up all of our buttons. You need this little box to be much, much smaller. Um, so if I go like that, it should look a little bit better, but I probably would want to play with this more, like moving this guy down and then centering that um, just to make it look even more polished. Um, so I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at davyandcrista.com. If you were going to add your code to WordPress, you would come up to you while you're logged in, go into any page and go to your footer. And then once it loads, you'll see probably a few things grayed out and a few things turned on. So you want to make sure that you have the one that says snap widget turned on. And so to do that, you would just right click the section, go to advanced, and then make sure that it's set to show. So you might see everything set to be hidden. You just want to set them all to show. Um, and then if you have any other Instagram placeholders in here, like that are stagnant staging photos, or maybe one that uses the Instagram plugin, you just want to make sure that this responsive is set to hide. Once you do that, you can come in here and just replace the code that you see with your existing code. Um, and so if I paste that in like that, it should just pull it in right away. One thing I want to note is that um, Instagram, I think doesn't update their API every hour. So if you posted a new image right now, you might not see it show up on your site for a couple of hours. Um, and that's just because they don't upgrade their update, their API that sends all the images out to all of the plugins consistently or constantly. Um, but within a few hours, you should see it updated. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at tvandkrista.com.